Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to travel back in time and solve a mystery. A mystery about the woody mammoths. You know, those huge hairy elephants that lived during the Ice Age. They were the kings of the frozen world, but they disappeared about 4,000 years ago. What happened to them? How did they die? To find out, we need to look for clues in their fossils. Are you ready to join me on this adventure? Let's go. Our first clue is a mammoth body that was found in 2010 in the Klondike Goldfields. It was frozen in ice for 30,000 years, but it looked like it died yesterday. It was so well preserved that we could see its skin color, its ear and trunk size, and its muscles. You know, some ancient Greeks thought mammoths were one-eyed giants when they saw their skulls. They didn't have any soft tissue to help them imagine the real animal. But today, we have a lot of evidence to help us understand not only their life, but also their extinction. Now that we have a mammoth body, let's move on to the second step of our investigation, the possible suspects of murder. The most obvious one is climate and environmental change. Mammoths look like today's elephants, but with some differences. The biggest one is their thick hair. They evolved to survive in the Ice Age, but 14,000 years ago, the Earth started to warm up again. This made it harder for mammoths to keep cool and find food. But how can we prove this hypothesis? We need clues, right? and we found one in a mammoth's gut. Some fossils are so well preserved that they still have their last meal in their stomachs and intestines. By analyzing this, we found out that mammoths ate mostly grass and small plants. But as the climate changed, these plants became scarce and replaced by other vegetation. Today's elephants eat a lot of different things, so we can assume that mammoths did too. Could this sudden climate change be the reason why mammoths went extinct? So, climate change was a big factor in their extinction, but not the only one. We have another clue, predators. Mammoths were huge and had massive tusks, but they still had enemies. Saber-toothed cats, wolves, and hyenas hunted them in packs. We can see their bite marks on some mammoth bones. But some bones have no bite marks, only spear wounds. Yes, humans hunted mammoths too. Archaeologists have found caves with human and mammoth bones and paintings of mammoth hunts. Humans used mammoth fur, skin, bones, and tusks for clothing, shelter, weapons, and art. They were the ultimate predators of mammoths. So did humans cause their extinction? Well, not so fast. There's more to the story. We have another clue from the environment and animal behavior. Because of food scarcity and predator pressure, mammoths had to migrate to new places where they faced more dangers. They became extinct everywhere except for a small island in the Arctic Ocean. This island was called Wrangell Island, and it was home to the last mammoths in the world 4,000 years ago. But they suffered from malnutrition and genetic diseases due to the limited resources on the island. So there we go, friends. Mammoths died because of many factors, climate change, food shortage, predators, genetic problems, and diseases. But there's a twist. A Harvard professor named George Church thinks he can clone mammoths from their DNA. Do you know what that means? Case reopens. This means we might see mammoths alive again in the future. What do you think, friends? Should we do it? Is it a good idea or a bad one? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of my next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.